I remember the tension in the room. You could have cut it with a knife, in fact. I was having my first big staff meeting with five people. I had a wonderful plan for their lives. Fabulous strategies, in fact, for carrying out the vision. And ultimately saw my role of leadership as top-down in both the direction and the implementation of the mission that we had initially agreed on. Sometime later, my leadership mentor, Dr. Jim Shockey, invited me to participate in a Lead Like Jesus encounter that him and his wife, Grace Lynn, were facilitating for a group of Wycliffe Associates. That Lead Like Jesus experience, for that's really what it was for me, it gave me a new framework for leadership. It showed me the importance of shaping the ethos, the vision, and the direction of an organization by developing your people. One of our staff guys later remarked, Luke, wow, your leadership has changed in the last year. You now listen to us. I began to use the Lead Like Jesus material to develop our staff. In fact, one year I put together a 145 slide PowerPoint to teach the Lead Like Jesus concepts at our annual staff retreat. The most powerful memory that I have in that organization is the time when my wife and I had the privilege of washing the feet of our staff. Thank you, Lead Like Jesus, for making such a difference in my leadership. After serving as director of that nonprofit organization, we moved back to North America. Within a very short time, I flew to Dallas to get trained as a Lead Like Jesus facilitator. It soon became abundantly clear to me that this is an organization who is what they teach. It was almost surprising to me. I can't tell you how many times I've been empowered, encouraged, and cheered on by everyone on the team. Today, I'm excited to be a part of the Lead Like Jesus movement. I love that we're not just another leadership seminar. We lead encounters, experiences that are transformative based on the greatest leader of all time, Jesus Christ. I get to do a number of encounters every year throughout North America in both the business and nonprofit uh, settings. Now, last year, my associate Fred Wagner joined me on a trip to Uganda where we worked with a key leader who actually handpicked 16 other existing leaders to be trained as Lead Like Jesus facilitators. After several days of explaining the concepts and facilitating teachbacks, Fred and I sat in the back seats at a venue watching them lead their very first encounter. It was awesome. They were pumped and so were Fred and I. Furthermore, they each committed to facilitating at least four encounters in the next year and handpicking some people to train. Lord willing, we will return next year to train them at a deeper level in the Lead Like Jesus material, plus help them train their protégés. Thank you, Lead Like Jesus, for investing in me and the lives of so many around the world. It is an absolute privilege to be part of this movement, and to God be the glory.